Hey guys, it's Ching Wu Wang here. Best Dota 2 gamer this world's ever fucking witnessed. So today is gonna be a good old fashioned fucking Dota philosophy, right? And first, I'm gonna issue a fucking disclaimer. Don't try this at home. It takes a lot of fucking mental preparation to be able to do, you know, to be able to analyze Dota in the way that I'm able to. Okay? Like, for example, me, I just got done with, you know, a seven-hour meditation just to prepare for this philosophy exhibition. So, you need to be really fucking careful when performing this kind of thing. And I do suggest you don't try it at home, you guys, okay? Because if you don't pre uh, prepare correctly, you don't do the proper meditation rituals, then, you know, you might get done with a philosophy session and let's say, you know, you engage into some uh, adult horseplay with your close friend, and you pull something, and, you know, you get hurt. So, don't try, like, once I say, you know, once again, you guys, don't fucking try this shit at fucking home. Because it's not, it's not for amateurs. But anyway, we're gonna jump right into this fucking match. Alright, so... I believe from what we are observing is that these fucking poop stains all fucking accepted this shit, okay? Now, let's try, let's do our first observation, okay? So, we got this week's Battle Cup champions, okay? So, what does he want us to think about that, alright? What what does he want us to think about a cosmetic battle cup that he won by beating, you know, winning two games against 2K poop stains? I mean, is that going to make these people think, you know, he's really fucking good, all right? We don't stand a fucking chance, all right? Or does it just make them think he's just some fucking poop stain that fucking buys fucking cosmetics to pretend that he's fucking good at the game? I don't know, but, you know, I think that's the gayest fucking cosmetic you could ever think up of. And, uh, you know, they're asking us to ban a hero, alright? Isn't that, you know, kind of prejudice, alright? Doesn't every hero have its chance to be picked, alright? And we're singling out just a few heroes because of our ignorance? You know, because of that, I don't think I'm going to ban anything. I'm not going to ban anything because I'm not going to be prejudiced against, you know, a certain type of fucking hero. Because that wouldn't be fair. You know, you just got to think, what if I was a hero here and someone banned me? How would I feel? I will be fucking, I would be very unhappy about that. So, I'm not going to ban anything. And it seems like we have a random fucking Meepo, you guys. And we're going to be picking Pudge, okay? We'll be picking motherfucking Pudge. And we're just going to fucking trash can these fucking poop stains. Back to, actually, no, we're not. We're not, because we're going to be... We're going to be too busy analyzing our surroundings, all right? And he's asking... He's trying to put a label... On this Meepo, alright? And, uh, he's using, he's using hacks to change his, the color of his text. You know, does that make him think that he has more authority? That he's different? That he stands out more? I don't know, but you know what? He's just a fucking dumbass for doing that shit. And why is there a picture of a pig here? Alright? Why is there a picture of a pig on Pudge's arm brace? Was this whatever the fuck this is on his arm? Was this originally used to cut pigs? It must have been, because there's a picture of a fucking pig here. So, this equipment that Pudge is carrying once used to slaughter pigs, and now it's being used to to uh, hurt actual human beings. 
And that's pretty fucked up, you guys. That's pretty motherfucking fucked up. And, uh, you got this fucking poop stain picking Ricky. But little as he fucking know, Ching Wang doesn't give a fuck about his fucking counters and shit, alright? Ching Wang's just here to observe his fucking surroundings and wait for this poop stain fucking game to fucking start. This game is so fucking shite! Honestly, you guys, I just want to join the game. I don't want to wait for this shit. I'm just trying to observe. I'm just trying to philosophize. And they're just taking too long. So, looks like we got a support alchemist, a tinker jungle, and a meepo mid. So, how is that going to affect the enemy team? What are they going to think about when they see this kind of lineup? Are they going to think that it's a free win? Are they going to be afraid that, that, you know, we have some kind of dastardly trick up our sleeve? You know, these, like, once again, you guys, these are the fucking questions you have to ask yourself. As was stated in the first episode. And, you know, I'm sure... As Poopstain is talking about his quest and shit, that's so fucking gay, alright? That is just so fucking gay. But once again, you guys, we're not going to pass judgment while we're conducting philosophy here. You see, alright, so... The thing about Pudge is, uh, when you play a hero like Pudge, or any, um, any hero with skill shots, you're basically playing a mini game, okay? And what that mini game is, it's, it's gonna be the respect meter, okay? For each hook that lands or misses, it affects your respect amongst the team, like how much their opinion of you will increase or decrease depending on how well you, you know, use this hook. And, you know, why is this Meepo only concerned about cosmetic shit? Why are all these fucking poop stains fucking concerned about this shit? Do they realize that this is, this is ranked? Or did they, did they queue into, uh, it looks like these poop stains are expecting Ching Wu Wang to buy a fucking courier, so we'll buy them their shitty fucking courier so Ching Wu Wang can fucking philosophize in peace. So we're gonna head into the jungle, and you know, you guys, what would happen if a Pudge were to go into a jungle with a Tango, an Enchanted Mango, a healing salve, and two clarities. How long would he be able to survive? Would he, you know, would he just start eating the creeps in here and live off of those? But then again, he would lose his salad. He would lose his, uh, his vegetable. Can you shut the fuck up, you fucking poop stain? I'm trying to do some philosophy over here, and you fucking ping me like a fucking asshole. So anyway, like I was saying, how long would he be able to survive? Like, what, like, if he, if he lost his plant matter from the tangos, would, uh, restart, you know, pooping out rock hard shits, alright? So, you know, I think we're gonna, you know, be observing our surroundings down here, because this Meepo is already, has already fucking, you know, drawn a lot of attention to himself, so... I'm gonna stand right here and let's see how long, let's see how long it takes for the Meepo to respond to that. Alright, how long is it gonna take for the Meepo to realize, oh, you know, Pudge is standing in my lane. And what kind of question is that gonna make him ask? Alright, what is he gonna think about? What's he gonna analyze? Alright. See, you see how he stopped there for a second? You know, for a split second, he's like, wait a minute. Pudge is here. He's standing here. Okay. He's standing here. Why is he standing here? What is he doing? And then, you know, he goes back to his, to his original game. Alright. But, you know, as you can see, when, when they stop briefly and like that, that means they're, they're thinking, you know, they're thinking 
an external thought that doesn't have to do with the game. So... Pretty sure Bungie, you know that, let's just hit him and let's try it. Pretty sure you need to shut the fuck up, you fucking poop stain. So, looks like we're level 2, so you might want to go for a gank here. So, you know, once again, you guys, this is going to be... This is going to be the respect meter, okay? If I land this hook, then, um... What's wrong with you, you fucking poop stain? Keep your mouth shut, you fucking asshole. So... I do you have a voice changer? I don't have a voice changer, it's my fucking voice. Why are you saying I use a voice changer, you fucking asshole? Fucking stupid oh, little bitch. It's hard, dude. You have a fucking voice changer. Oh, okay, you fucking dumbass. You're fucking... Level 2 and Invoker's fucking... What the fuck is Invoker? Invoker's fucking level 4. How are you like two levels behind him, you fucking poop stain? Well, if you're scrolling, you're just actually mentally retarded. Just shut the fuck up, child. So... Okay, I think so. I don't know what the fuck this child is doing, but I'm just trying to philosophize. And... And... We did get a response. We did get a response from the... From the Nepo, so... Let's see how long it took. Three minutes, all right. So let's try to go for a gank here. Let's see if our and we did miss that gank. So that's minus ten respect. And Meepo saw that. Meepo knows. Meepo saw that I missed that hook, all right. He saw that I fucking missed it. So you know that's that's minus ten to twenty respect points depending on his leniency, okay. But you know what? He's just fucking cow shit, motherfucker. And so is this fucking Volker, this fucking little bitch. Going fucking. Whatever the fuck. Going fucking, uh. Exhort. Fucking. Fire shit. So you push, like, a little bitch and auto attack all fucking day, like a brainless retard. Alright? He's run like a little bitch from Ching Wang. He's really in the fucking no. I'm just trying to do some fucking philosophy. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Alright? But you know, once again, this is a world. We live in a world where, you know, people have to call each other pain, so. I'm gonna try to hook this poop stain. That's, that's minus 10. That's minus 10, um, respect points. Okay? So, so far we've lost, um, 20 to, th uh, to 40 respect points, depending on this Meepo's, you know, opinionated, uh, views, okay? So we're gonna try going somewhere else. We don't want to lose too many respect points from the Meepo, alright? So we're gonna try to go somewhere else to, to preserve our reputation. Well, we might want to help out the uh, jungling tinker. And they did steal my kill. That's pretty fucking unfortunate. Alright. But, uh, oh yeah, that was, uh, I missed the hook, didn't I? So that's minus 10 to. So it's, it's minus 10 to 20 respect points from the Tinker, and uh, another 20 to 10 from the Meepo. So that's pretty fucking unfortunate, alright? And, uh, she, uh, she, she, she seems a little unsure about herself. Well, honestly, you guys, I don't want to hurt these people. I don't understand why you have to call each other so much pain. Are you gonna fucking help me or not? Are you gonna fucking help me or not? You fucking piece of shit! These kids are so fucking shite! So, you know, things aren't going too well. I don't think we used a hook, but we did die in front of her. So that's about 5 to 10 respect points lost. Because of the Marana. It looks like Meepo's having a little trouble, so help her help him out a little bit. And that's it's minus 10 respect points, you guys. It's minus 10 respect points. But, you know, we're not here seeking people's approval, okay? This is, that's just a little mini-game that you play as Pudge, okay? And when your respect points gets really low, when you, when you miss hooks on Pudge, they'll start pinging you every hook you miss like this. They'll just, they'll just ping you with every single skill shot you miss, and that's like the, uh, that's rock bottom there on the uh, respect scale. So we don't want to get to that point. So we're going to have to land a hook at some point, right? But, you know, we have to ask ourselves, 
Oh, you see, we, we lost some respect. We might be on rock bottom with the Wind Ranger already on the respect points, you guys. This fucking poop stain. Fucking Sark is not to land his pounce and shit. Not only my fucking team isn't helping me. So, you know, we did get, so that's, that's, uh, that's plus 10 respect points for us, you guys. Plus 10, make it up for ourselves. So, we did a great job. But, you know, honestly, what is a good hook, you guys? Alright, what classifies a good hook? I, you know, I think it, it all depends on your fucking morality. You see, like, if I was to hook like this and miss it like that, what, that might have been a good hook in my opinion because I'm keeping him, you know, she didn't think I was a good hook, alright? But in my opinion, I think I was kind of ushering him to get his fucking poop stained ass away from that mirror image. So, in my opinion, it was a great hook. So, can you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you fucking cow shit, motherfucker? I don't give a fuck what you fucking think. I'm not out here to, like, get, get fucking respect from you, okay? I don't give a fuck what you think about me, alright? I know you're trying to trigger me. It's not gonna fucking work. Alright, you can check my fucking match history. You're so fucking shite! So... What the fuck does drowning mean, you guys? So, you know, we almost got our tranquil boots. Something's gone. We might want to try to work on our reputation with the Wind Ranger, okay? Maybe we can accomplish something here. But, you know, I feel bad because I'm hurting a, a an innocent girl. There's two girls here. I'm hurting them. And, you know, I deserve that, you guys. You know, you the usual person might think, you know, God damn it, I just fucking died. But honestly, I deserve I deserve what I got because I was hitting two women. You don't hit it a woman. So that's pretty fucked up, you guys. I definitely deserve that. So from now on, I'm gonna try to hit only only men. I think this is a male creature. So and I did get fucking hacked there. No teammates were around, but I also lost uh, respect points with the Ricky. So. At this point, he's like, oh, Pug missed that hook. He was fucking cow shit, motherfucker. It looks like a pause in the fucking game, so... We'll take this time to fucking conversate with our team. And what what's wrong with you, kid? You really calling someone autistic, alright? You know what it'd be like for, to be, for someone to be autistic, alright? That's a fucking horrible thing to say to somebody. You fucking poop-stained motherfucker with poop. Falling straight out of your fucking butthole, alright? And you live in a fucking country where they poop on the fucking median. So, go ch fuck you, you fucking asshole. Fucking making fun of mentally challenged people and shit. Fucking shite motherfucker. Shut the fuck up, kid. I don't give a fuck if you're done typing, you fucking asshole. So... That helped us pass the time a little bit, just have a little dialogue with the team. Just so we can get on the same page. So... What the fuck is this language, you guys? So we're gonna murder some innocent crypts. And, you know, let's see, let's see what the Juggernaut thinks about that. Let's see what the Juggernaut thinks when I start, you know, using my hook to take creep kills like that. Is he gonna think, oh shit, Pudge is trolling? Or is he gonna think, or is he gonna be very thankful? Is he gonna be very fucking thankful to help his fucking poop stain cow shit motherfucker? Of course, his shitty fucking lane, alright? So let's take a look at his score. He's 0 on 1, alright? He's fucking cow shit. I might have died three times, but I have an excuse. I'm doing philosophy right now. I have an excuse to fucking. You know, do that shit. And we do have a Tinker Jungle. It's very, very good plan. Working out pretty well. So, I can definitely see why he picked Tinker Jungle. All right? It looks like this wizard is unhappy with something I said. So, he decided to, uh, you know, have it out for me right there. So, and you know what, gentlemen? There's not a whole lot we can do about that. It looks like this mouse is dead. 
found that woman on the, on the uh, tiger. And, you know, once again, you have to ask yourself, what did the mouse do to upset that woman? Must have done something. Does she have, like, a phobia of mouses? And, you know, what is this timer here? Why do I care that it's 3 p.m., all right? Why the fuck do I care about this fucking roleplay shit? Oh, it's 3 p.m., guys. It's 3 p.m., all right? Just watch out, guys. It's 4 p.m., okay? It's 4 p.m. right now, so you need to be very fucking careful. Alright, it's almost sunset. Okay, it's almost time for us to go to bed. Alright, it's almost dinner time. Like, honestly, you guys, what the fuck do I fucking care what time it is in the game? What's this roleplay fucking cow shit, okay? And I did mean to hook that creep, alright? I did not, I did want to spare the Ricky. Wanted the Ricky to get away, okay? I don't think he did anything to deserve a hook to the mouth, so... You know, I think this Tinker saw what was fucking coming, decided to pick fucking Tinker Jungle. Or maybe he really thinks that's a good fucking pick. Or is it because he didn't get mid or something, and he's upset at the Meepo? At the random fucking Meepo? So I'm gonna help him out. As best as I can. And will he get upset about that? That's what you have to ask yourself. Like, what is he thinking right now? What is he thinking about after I took that, that creep kill? What is, what is going through his head? That's just what I want to know. What did my did my kill steal on the creep prompt him to think? Like, what is he thinking about? Is he thinking, you know, maybe I should go to bed? Maybe I should just go do something else? All right? And it looks like we got a courier here. So, I don't know why I'm not able to hook couriers, okay? And that was a great fucking W, so I'm gonna commend Meepo for that W there. That was a very friendly W. So, you know, I think this extent of the philosophy is just about done with, okay? And, uh, well, basically, you know, we explained, you know, what the respect meter is, how to build it, how to lose it, right? You know, if you want your respect meter back, you gotta land some hooks, okay? I don't know how the fuck I saw that fucking Ricky. He's, like, right here. He doesn't really see that far, okay? So, I don't know why I'm going that way. Did get stream sniped there, so... We're just, uh, doing absolutely fucking nothing now. You know, honestly, what a fucking loss. We have, you know, we have analyzed ourselves into a fucking corner with seemingly no way out, alright? Just like this Tinker. Tinker's in a little bit of distress, so... And I could have helped him there. But if he was just alive for half a second more, he would have been alive. And what, is, what does that make him think about? Okay? What does it make him think about? So, you know, he decides to change his thought to getting last hits and everything now that his character is dead to what items the enemy has. That's, that's a really great time management. Okay? That's great fucking time management. So we're going to commend him for... For, uh, if we can just go to the fucking commend button, okay? I don't know why the fuck I can't commend people. I was trying to commend him for good time management, but I guess can't. And, uh, we did appear to be dead because we're trying to commend our fucking teammates. You guys are so shite! I'm trying to fucking commend his fucking tinker for good time management. And you guys don't even fucking help me when I'm under the fucking tower and these fucking poop stains kill me. Or report me for what? For trying to make you think, okay? For trying to make you think in a different way than you usually do? Why do I deserve a report for that? So... Looks like that courier is not upgraded yet, so... Not even upgraded the fucking courier, and you're still gonna fucking report me, you fucking poop stains? So... What does Wokoko mean, you guys? 
What the fuck is this fucking language? It does seem like this game is fucking completed. I'm seeing Wu Wang's monitor. Alright you guys, so it does seem like this game is fucking completed. I'm seeing Wu Wang's fucking monitor, okay? And you know, you might be saying, you know, I went 0 and 21, okay? But, wait, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're sacrificing ourselves for the greater fucking good, okay? We're sacrificing ourselves for a much greater cause than our own. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that, you know, I went 0 and 21. And, you know, what's this Slark think? This Slark probably thinks he's really fucking good. So let's take a look at this kid, all right? So, this kid thinks he's really fucking good, because he went 25-2, and two, so I'm very happy to have raised his morale there, okay? And he went 17-11 on Morana, and couldn't even fucking win the game, alright? And, uh, you know, I did everything I could to help my team. Not just physically, but also mentally, okay? And you might be saying, you know, well, Ching Wang, how is 0-22 helpful? Well, that's the thing, okay? The harder someone feeds, the more... The more of a person it brings out in the player, okay? So, like, this, uh... This 4 and 10 Juggernaut... If I wasn't feeding, he probably would have been, like... 2 and 20, alright? So I made him play a lot better, I helped, you know, helped him think about a lot of things. As I did pretty much everyone in this game, so I did a public service to all these fucking poop stains. You know, just how to think differently in this fucking game. You know, how to ask the hard questions. And you know what, you should be able to deny this ancient, so... You know, once again, Ching Wu Wang here... Best Dota 2 Philosopher this planet has ever witnessed. Showing you guys how to, how to win games, alright? So, hope you enjoyed this uh, philosophy session. And, and it seems like we got 63 points for that game. That was just fucking great. So anyway, guys, Ching Wu Wang, logging off.